Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to Coventry Speedway. So settle in for ten. Away, Nutson makes a good game. The four gate, Brian Anderson gets it with him, and Butler gives Anderson a shove, and Nutson goes out, and Anderson goes out. plug on him but it's very disappointing for the team as a whole because he can do it and he can go and there's no excuse for it we can't afford it panel going round the outside of Nutton and panel's gone down he can't exclude two of us well he's done it yeah well I, I just went on the phone to him but he won't speak to me so there's nothing I can do and the Coventry crowd are on their feet as Gary Gulliemi moves up on the inside of Alan Graham and it's so tight Graham closes down but it's will do for Coventry if Gulliemi can stay here Look, what a victory and here comes Ollie out to greet his lads in his farewell season who will begrudge this man who's done so much for British Speedway so much for Midland Speedway his moment just look at this you'd think they'd won the lead but they've certainly beaten Gravely Heath in the most dramatic fashion in the very last heat and the happiest man is Ollie Olsen there's Mick Bell look at Olsen He's won the world title three times, but I don't think I've ever seen him this happy. Well, there's so many heroes. Knudsen, the most professional job. But don't let's forget Gary Gulliemi, who grabbed the rifle point from the back. Oh, what a moment. What a magical telly. Oh, and over there now, Gulliemi. Gulliemi gets the victory roll. And Coventry celebrates, and so do we, because we've had another Speedway Classic. Gary, you're great. You're I'll tell you what you better do. Take that and give him a, a, we'll a good drink. Get, get the team a drink, because uh, Gary won that for you at the end there, he didn't did. I know the team had done it. Tremendous. Six years in a row, mate. Tremendous, oh, mate. I love it, I love it. And that's how we want it. I told him, what a side we got here. We can do it. He's even got a broken hand. Boy, keep <laughs> respecting him by not booing me. As Rick Wallaway at the front, it's still Tatum in second. Anderson in third. Anderson again looking for Lawrence Wall on the inside. Tatum on that pit and He's right alongside Tatum again. He's squeezed ahead of Tatum. Superb right there by Brian Anderson. Tatum trying to hit back round the outside. He's overtook it. Gone too wide on the top of the bend. Simon Wick wins it. Second, Brian Anderson. Tatum coming under pressure from Jorgensen. And a superb ride there by Jorgensen. Beating him, moves Tatum over. And he's left a gap for Smith to get through. And all three in a bunch going down a back straight. And Tatum's a sandwich and a bean sandwich. As Jorgensen gets round the outside of him. Smith powers his way through on the inside. Tremendous action there between Jorgensen and Smith. Because Tatum led them for a lap. And then Jorgensen moved him over. And Smith went to the gap that he left. Green cuts back for the inside line. Mike has caught Andy Smith out there. He gets inside Smith going in to the pits corner screen then for Smith Smith bravely back down the outside they lock up together screen makes a mistake and Jorgensen rolls through on the inside screen trying to hit back round the outside sensational action heat number three as Smith then for screen Jorgensen in third Jorgensen retakes screen again screen throws it on in that pits corner he's alongside Jorgensen again gets back round Jorgensen again who says you can't pass at Coventry it's again just ahead of the guard Colin way back in third Smith had a contention at the back and they come out of that pits corner and the guard Smith ahead of Wick Wick back on the inside where Wick gets back inside the guard. What tremendous stop between these two Wick really gives the guard a shot there but the guard comes back and Wick and back inside and again Wick back down the inside. The lock shoulder to shoulder going into the pistol the guard stops inside Wick Wick again. Colin Taylor's again Wick gets back inside the guard. What a cracking race between these two. It's on the last point now Wick's on wide the guard. Goes to drive around the outside. Simon Wick wins against the victory. Wick trying to get round Doncaster. Johnson with it all at the back as Doncaster pushes Wick wide again. As Anderson then from Doncaster. Wick in third. Johnson at the back. He put a blanket over the four of them as they make their way down the back straight once again. Wick in fact gets round the edge of Doncaster. Doncaster trying to come back round the inside of Johnson. Can't do anything at all at the moment. Wick overcooks it going in to the Cobney Bend. Drops back to third again. As Anderson then from Doncaster. Now Wick gets a drop inside Doncaster. Going into that pistol of Doncaster. Trying to come back on the inside. One and still Johnson. And Jorgensen right alongside Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson on the outside of that pitch. When Jorgensen goes storming through. Good ride there by Jorgensen. Gunnarsson trying to get back round the outside. They're shoulder to shoulder. Coming out of that Cobney Ben. And Gunnarsson gets back round Jorgensen. Jorgensen comes again up the inside. They wheel to wheel in that pitch corner again.
again. Jorgensen goes wide, pushes Gunnarsson wide. Gunnarsson back round the outside. Jorgensen again, back up the inside. Gunnarsson back round Jorgensen, terrific stuff. And this one is Jorgensen rise with track. Gunnarsson again, trying to get back round the outside. They're locked absolutely shoulder to shoulder as they start the last lap. Jorgensen goes wide, leaves Gunnarsson nothing at all on the outside of that pit corner. Jorgensen goes blazing round the outside. Hans Nielsen clean, trying to get round as well. All three of the bunch coming off that Coventry corner. Nielsen leaves screen, nothing at all. Left goes screen, nothing at all. Go again that Coventry corner. And Screen goes bottom, Stormer inside Nielsen. Nielsen comes again, screen left the air. Tremendous stuff in the first lap and a half of this heat. Dixon and screen again, trying to squeeze away inside Nielsen. Swift pulling away the front. Nielsen second screen, still trying to find a way past him. Screen with Nielsen, right with track screen. Gets to on the inside, leaves Nielsen nothing at all. They're locked shoulder to shoulder going to that back straight. Swift a mile away the front, but what a race for second place between Nielsen and Joe Screen. Nielsen takes on the screen once again. And Hancock trying to get inside Nielsen.